I always thought of myself as a really lousy salesperson. I, I, I don't know if it's true necessarily, but that's where I'm coming from. You know, that's my mindset. And that, that translates in, in reality, it translates to a couple of things. Number one, I don't, you know, I don't twist anybody's arm. I don't convince anybody. Investing needs to come from you. I will do whatever I can to help you make smart decisions and my team will do the same, but I'm not going to convince you to invest. If it's not coming from you, that's not going to work. That's just my mindset. The second thing is I said, okay, if I can chase people in terms of marketing and sales and all of that. And that's going to be very hard for me to do because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be good at that. But if I turn the tables around and I would position myself as an expert, position myself as a speaker, educator, truly, you know, truly someone who talks and teaches and not someone who's just doing a sales pitch over the years, I have done well over 350, probably, you know, live classes in the room and probably similar number of, of um, you know, of, uh, of uh, webinars where I always told myself, it doesn't matter how much you charge for the, for the event, from free to a fee, right? You're always going to provide, personally, like my own, you're always going to provide value to the person who's attending because I attended multiple seminars when there was 98% sales pitch and 2% content. And you know what? Even when it was free, I hated it because they just wasted my time. They just said, we, you know, they just, you know, we don't care about you. We don't care about the fact that you're not with your family this evening. We don't care about anything. We just wasted your time. It's, it, for me, it was always disrespectful as an attendee. And I always promised myself, you know, someone may, 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 may come to my event one, one way or another and agree or disagree with the strategy, agree or disagree with the experience. And that's okay. That's a philosophy. That's, you know, that we should do that. But nobody should go out of the room and say, this was a complete waste of my time. Never. I don't think anybody did that. So I told, you know, so I tried to do a lot of educational events, one way in, in the Facebook Live webinars, like lecture, etc., podcast, different thing to bring value. And I also tried to bring fresh ideas, not what it's a conventional wisdom out there. And the hope is people say, okay, this guy is no BS. He knows what he's talking about. He sounds legit. He sounds with, with integrity. Integrity, you know, when you are in the, in the Israeli special forces, the number one thing is integrity. The number one thing. You, cannot, you can be not an amazing athlete. You can be not the strongest guy, right? But they will tell you from the beginning, if you screw up on something, you got to report it. If you don't report, right? If you report, you'll be punished. You will, right? If you don't report, you're out, buddy. You're out. It's like, it's like one of those things, it's not even debatable. This is a line very clear that if you don't, if you cross that line, you're out. So we would learn, you know, we would, they would say, you know, we got to report. And we knew when you report, it's going to be punishment. It's not going to be fun. But that, you know, sometimes punishment would be running the rest of the night. And sometimes punishing, uh, you know, means uh, you're not, you know, you're on, on a leave. You stay in the base for who knows how long and you're not going out to see your family and friends. That's the way it is. But wow. that is ingrained into your DNA.